Meanwhile, mass reductions in the federal workforce are hitting the National Weather Service and National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Hundreds of employees, some located in Oregon, are reportedly ousted as part of recent layoffs. Reporter Aaron Arellano spoke with expert climatologists to learn how this affects weather tracking in Oregon. This just does not make sense at all. Larry O'Neill and Erica Fleischman are climatologists at Oregon State University and they're still wrapping their heads around the unthinkable. The roughly 100 person workforce among Oregon's National Weather Service offices now between 60 and 70 people. Those numbers coming from O'Neill himself he got from a contact at the agency. There's just no waste, fraud and abuse in this at all. You know, they've been understaffed and underfunded for years. So, you know, these these cuts are just, you know, kind of devastating for their mission. And there will be uh, the impacts will be felt across Oregonians. And those impacts will be felt when it's most needed, they say. Things like the weather app on your smartphone will not be affected, but accurate information during severe weather could be jeopardized. The weather service really shines is in times of extreme events. So, and that's wildfires floods and things like that. So we're going to need to, you know, so that is when we're going to see the lack of staffing. And the people who are remaining will do their best, obviously, to provide the information they can. But everyone was doing critical jobs there. And when you take those people away, something has to give. They say even though this is a devastating blow, there are ways for the public to help. I'll give you two suggestions. Um, One is that if people have the right to vote in Oregon, and they um, they have elected officials. Let your elected officials know what your concerns are and what your feelings are. The other is more just on a personal level. I mean, the people that are losing their jobs, you know, they're our neighbors, and um, and extending some compassion to them and saying we care about you. I'm Aaron Ariano reporting.